breaking the story for us, Renee. Some states are now taking rather extraordinary measures. What have you learned? Well, well, 46 states have asked the Department of Homeland Security for help fending off cyber attacks on their election systems. And more than 20 states have experienced attempted hacks. But the battleground state of Ohio is taking it one step further. The critical state of Ohio has taken an unprecedented step, calling on the National Guard's elite cyber unit to help protect the election. You called on them to essentially hack the state's systems. We want to be tested. Cyber warfare is a new front for the military, for business, and now for elections. Hacking voting machines in the nation's 9,000 jurisdictions would be a tough task since they're not connected to the internet or each other. There are also security measures. Now, you can't get into that machine without breaking any one of these seals. But voter registration databases with names, numbers, emails, and addresses are vulnerable. There were breaches in states including Arizona and Illinois. Hackers could use voter contact information to send erroneous voting locations. Hackers could also wipe the database clean, making names disappear from voter logs, sparking confusion and long lines. We call this room the Hunter's Den. Uh, we are we're cyber, we're cyber hunters. The National Guard cyber team in Maryland is on standby to assist its state. Major General Linda Singh runs the operation. These are the folks who are out responding to the snowstorms, the floods, the hurricanes, um, but they're not necessarily thinking that we are out uh, fighting the technology war. Both here and in Ohio, the goal is the same identify and stop cyber intruder. You're looking for anything that doesn't look quite right, meaning malicious activity. Malicious activities, bad guys pulling information away. With the election just days away, Ohio is confident your vote will count. How can you truly be prepared for something that really the country has never experienced before? It doesn't mean that a cyber attack couldn't occur, which would create an inconvenience. But it's not going to change any outcome of an election. Well, Wolf, these National Guard cyber teams, they test computer networks by trying to hack them. They're called penetration tests to essentially look for vulnerabilities hackers could exploit. Now, these cyber units are not yet in every state. There are 23 units. And in another three years, the plan is to have these cyber teams in 34 states. Wolf? All right, Renee, thank you. Renee Marsh reporting others also.